Why, hello there, round two. I forgot to unmute my mic. That's a thing that you do sometimes when you're me. Uh, so hey, how you doing? Hi, Stacks. You're not, you're not late. Not that you could ever be late, but you're not late. Uh, yeah, it's time for more Final Fantasy VI. After a little Overwatch break yesterday, <laughs> the Overwatch break was not successful. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the first hello, the first round of hello did not go through, so that was not great. Uh, so yeah, we're we're hopping right in. If we're all, if yeah, if they're all call, <laughs> I can't talk. If you will recall, uh, last we left off, I am lost on the world map, but I have an airship, so I'm lost and fast. Uh, but yeah, we just we did the opera last time, and we went and tried to rescue the espers. They all sacrificed themselves for us. Then we went back to Narsh, talked to the elder. The elder suggested we go back to. We got, we got to try and pierce the veil, get back to the, the Esper world. So that's what we're trying to do right now. We're going to try and get back to the Esper world. But I don't know where the game wants me to go, which is the conundrum that I'm in. So <clears throat> I was trying to tell a co explain to a co-worker what part I was at. But I was doing a really poor job at describing where I was at. And he suggested maybe I try and go back to Vector. Which I think is a good suggestion. But now I don't really remember where Vector is. I gotta pull up the world map. Sorry, I should've done that before the stream. Final Fantasy VI world map. I should have it bookmarked at this point, to be honest. Vector. Where are you at, Vector? Vector is number 25 on the world map. Okay. Bottom continent. How are you doing today, Stax, by the way? You, uh, crush any vapes? Crush any dreams? Vector, right around these parts. I think maybe it's. Oh yeah, it's this big thing. Okay, let's see what happens when we try to go back into Vector. I guess there's no point in saving. All right. Oh god. Yeah. What is this? I feel like <laughs> I feel like I was sabotaged. And the last thing I was supposed to do was come back to Vector. <laughs> I sh you know what I should do? I should get back on, uh... On training up my, my boy Gao. We should go to the wilds and send him off. Oh my god, I can't even... Ta okay, so we can't hurt this thing. So... I guess we just run away. This was not where I was supposed to go. Come on, Edgar. Edgar. There we go. The good news is that thing didn't attack me back, so that's nice. Okay, yep. I thought maybe I could go around it instead of straight into it and that would help, but it didn't. It didn't help. Come on, Cyan. We'll get out of here. Hmm. There's got to be something else on this continent, though, right? Maybe that we missed? What's over here? Because there is, like, a line. What's this? Let's see what this is. Imperial base. Oh, this is probably actually it. Yeah! Hell yeah! That's odd. No Imperial soldiers. Let's get this over with. Alright, let's exit. Uh, I think I need to use a tent real quick. Uh, actually, we're not doing too bad. I'm gonna save it until we need it. Until we need it more urgently. What's going on in these? This town is completely empty. It's surely a good sign. Locked. I want to figure out how to get in that room. There's a lot of treasure in that room. I feel like if we brought Locke, he would know. But I left Locke behind. Anything over here? Anything over yonder? Nope, nope, nope. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I was telling, uh, I was in another stream before I started up my stream. 
and I was telling them about how I went and got Del Taco for dinner today. And when they, when you go, it's kind of, it's the same idea as Taco Bell, you know, like normally when you're done and you're at the drive-thru window, they're like, hey, do you want any hot sauce and what type? And you tell them and then they give you a random number. But instead today they were like, how many hot sauce packets do you like? And I was like, oh, cool. Like I'll, I won't get too many and all that. Uh, <laughs> absolutely not. They asked me, I was like, four, please. And then they were like, you said 20 million? <laughs> Cause that's how many they gave me. They gave me like 15, it was insane. Nobody needs that much hot sauce. One person does not need that hot sauce. I have like a lifetime supply of hot sauces from fast food restaurants, on top of just regular hot sauces. Uh oh. Oh, Jesus. These guys hit big money. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that worked out. I guess he unconfused himself with the first uh, attack and then was able to go around with the rest of it. Oh, hell yeah. And our boy. Our boy Cyan's back. I'm very excited to have Cyan back in the party. I missed having Sword Tech. You love to collect this hot sauce? You have a bunch in your deck drawer? Like fast food hot sauce, or you like to collect other hot sauces? Because I've done a few heat mist orders lately, so I have like a. I have a few of the hot ones sauces at work, and then a couple at home as well. Oh, I went the wrong way. I always do that. When I get in a fight, <laughs> when I get in a fight in a cave, I always accidentally go the, the wrong direction when I'm done. That scorpion looks scary. Looks like a rad scorpion from Fallout. Taco Bell hot sauce? Ah, do you like, do you just like the, the sayings? Do you like to get various sayings? Oh no, imp! You always have soy and duck sauce on deck? Oh man. I don't like either of those really, like I don't have a hatred towards them or anything, like more power to you, but not for me. Oh my god. Oh my god! Now I gotta go back for real and use the tent. Oh my god, does that mean I'm under leveled or is that just like a special attack? What did that say up at the top? Uh oh. Tent? Let's take a nap. An underrated sauce, Bronco Berry from Arby's. I don't really go to Arby's, so I can't confirm or deny. I'm not a big fan of beef, so. I do occasionally, like, rare occasion, I'll, that'll be like a guilty pleasure. What's Bronco Berry though? Like, what type of, what type of thing is that? Like a barbecue sauce? I mean, my favorite sauce from a fast food place is always going to be cane sauce. I love cane sauce. Don't you imp- No! It makes me so sad when they imp- uh, gal. I wish I could imp-proof- imp-proof everyone. <laughs> imp-proof just sounds like I'm trying to say improve and can't speak. Who else just got imped? Which one of these? Which one of these undoes it? Green cherry? Oh. My other weird customer service thing that happened to me today was I had a... Hold on one second. Uh, yeah, green cherry. Uh, I guess I should have bought a bunch more of these. But uh, I ordered more vitamins because I'm running low on... Like, I get the gummy vitamins. The, the one-a-days that are actually two-a-day, so I don't know why they're called one-a-days. Uh-oh. Is this a puzzle? Oh! Did that damage me? Okay, it didn't damage me. 
what just happened there? Uh, <laughs> but, uh, and they put an ice pack in it, and I ordered it from regular Amazon, not like from Amazon Prime or grocery or anything like that. And it, so it came with a melted ice pack in it, <laughs> and my vitamins were all wet. I'm like, what the hell is this? What do you have? Let's use Maldwin. You don't eat the sandwiches, you just get the sides? Dude, yeah, their curly fries are great. Their curly fries are always what will keep me going back to them. I can't say that I've had any of their other sides, though. That's what everyone at work said, like, oh, I guess they didn't want them to melt and stick together, but it's like... But also, just the ice pack melted immediately. It's like 100 degrees here. <laughs> Why would you... <laughs> what? what was this supposed to do? Oh shit, I accidentally just... Did I heal that one? Or no, he's healing them, huh? The Zamboni. <laughs> I know he's not a it's not pronounced Zamboni, but I definitely am calling that a Zamboni. Come on, Gao, knock him out. Blah, blah. Did you just kill? Did you just kill Edgar again? Oh, no, no, no. He has, he has zombie on him. Doesn't he? Oh, no. Alright. Crisis averted. We gotta revivify him. Where's the revivify? I think I'm ill-prepared for this section of the map. I feel like I probably should have been out grinding. I keep looking for high potions because I forget that the pe the potions in this game are like 250. Alright, let's try and figure this out. Okay, so they just change on based on timing. I see, and then there's steady pieces. Oh. Oh shit, I went to the wrong spot. Okay. For some reason, this is not clicking with me. Coin dust. Get me out of here. Ah. 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 <laughs> ah. Okay. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay. So really, you only need to look at where, look where you're headed, and from there you could kind of figure it out. It's still kind of, uh, kind of tripping me out, even though it's not that hard. I don't know why. <laughs> what does Morph do for her? Does she turn into the? Ooh, yes, yeah, she does. Let's see what this entails. Well, that didn't do anything. I think I didn't do stuff fast enough, maybe? Oh my god, I'm dumb. So this... <laughs> the parts that are rocky, I didn't realize they were, like, rocks. I thought they were still just part of the map. I was, like, wondering why I couldn't walk across them. I understand now. I understand what I must do. What's changing here? Nothing over here is changing. There is definitely a piece of wood there. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Unless I am terribly mistaken. <laughs> hey Mandy, thanks for the follow. How are you? Also, hello. Okay, I gotta go from the bottom. <laughs> Thank you, Stax. I'm real proud of that sounder. I just went on a sounder spree one day. I was like, 
I had a few uh, that I had to retire, like I that I didn't use because I was like, this is too obscure of a thing. Like I had a few things from Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. I was like, nobody but me and <laughs> my friend Mike like this show. <laughs> Why would I put this in here? How did your Assassin's Creed go, Mandy? Uh, when I had to leave to do actual work at work, you were fighting a fighting a horde of shielded enemies with just your fists, it seemed. <laughs> Oh snap! Hey everybody, welcome. We're just getting the we're just getting started. I'm a bit I was a bit lost, but I found where I'm supposed to go. Now I'm a little bit uh, under leveled for it. <laughs> yes, I do that. My raid sounder is my favorite. I'm gonna toot my own horn there. <laughs> I love it, and it makes me so happy when I finally get a raid because I get to hear it. Uh, if you guys. Uh, have not been to. I'm assuming I mean really only Stax was here before <laughs> everybody else. If you haven't been to Tazel's uh, stream, you should go to Tazel's stream. She's a variety streamer. She does all sorts of fun stuff. And has a very good community full of very nice people. Okay. Okay, see, now this is changed. It wasn't changing before. This game is trying to sabotage me. I don't understand. Okay, we need to get to here. Oh god, that's the wrong spot. Also, if you haven't been to my stream, I'm a variety streamer, but not that much variety. <laughs> I only play like a couple of games at once. Right now, if you don't like Final Fantasy, uh-oh. Because I play a lot of Final Fantasy games at once. Yeah, Rain, I've never played, um, I've never played this before at all. I've only played the post 10 and above. Oh! Okay, I gotta pay attention to where I'm going. Um, or not 10 and above, 7 and above. So, um, this is my first foray into a pre-7 game, besides tactics, I guess. Okay. See, I think it's goo- like, I- no, it's not gooping up, it's me. <laughs> it's me, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> This is not even a very hard puzzle, but I'm being impatient. One of these guys, one of these guys really was wrecking me big time earlier, and I don't know if it's a sign that I'm under leveled or if it was just like a special move that they had, but it has me real worried for where I'm at. I know I have to go to the bottom, but it's getting to the bottom. That's the, it's getting to the bottom that's the bad part right now. I'm having trouble doing the thing that I need to do. Also, Tazel, I saw your Super Mario... Oh, see? That's the thing. That's the thing that happened last time. Your uh, Super Mario RPG broke? Or, I guess not broke, but was was already broken? That is a very big bummer. When you go up, instead of go, instead go down. Oh, I think I see what you're saying. Well, Terra's dead. Nice knowing her. We'll survive her, I guess. Just this once. Just this once, we'll let her live. Ugh. Okay, so you're saying when you instead go down, yeah, I spoiled. <laughs> She's been very spoiled. I gave her the gift of, of potions. And then go, d okay, so you're saying go down. And okay, I see what you're saying. <laughs> All right, guess we're restarting from here. <laughs> Yeah, she's going to be expecting great treatment. She's in for a bad time. Oh, but 
See, this goes away. Okay. <laughs> if this is your first time watching this stream, I'm not normally this bad at following directions. There's a gnat in the room. That just terrified me. I have a cat. Her name is Juno. She does not like it when I pick her up. I always want to pick her up and show her to the stream. She gets real mad. Juno! Come here, Come here. Come here. I just want to pet you. I just want to pet you. She's not falling for it. Okay. Okay, I see where I need to go. Down here. This one stays the same. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't want to be she doesn't want to be outed on on stream. She wants her personal life and her work life separate. Okay, so see this is the caveat with going down. So down is not the answer because there's no there there's no there'll be a gap here if I stand on this very bottom ledge. Yeah. Can I tell you where I am in the story book? Um, I did the opera, and I did. Uh, I went to try and rescue the espers, and now. Oh, that's wrong. Oh no, it wasn't. Um, and so we're trying to get back to the esper world. I'm trying to infiltrate the the imperial base right now, uh, which is proving difficult because I can't comprehend this very easy puzzle. <laughs> That's very true, Cross Cottonwood. It's a it that's a lie. It's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie that's been uh spouted by all people, I guess. I don't really know any facts about that. Hi Rolo! How are you? Did you 100 percent your game? Oh no. Juno! I think I almost got her. She's inching closer. Oh no! Oh good, they're out of MP. I hate when things die and use magnitude. Not yet. I'm doing okay. My knee has been weirdly uh, achy today, which I thought meant it was gonna rain, but then it never did. Tara was sick in bed because she transformed. Yeah, she's cured now. She, um, she has found out her origins, and that's why she has volunteered to go to the Esper world, to be our liaison. <laughs> Alright, enjoy your dinner, Tussle. Thanks again for the raid. Okay, so, hey, down here, and then... To the right. To the right is the, the one we want to go. Oh no, that's not the one. Down here. Hmm. Is it this one that we want to do? I think it is. Yeah. Ah. Huh? Oh! Oh! <laughs> that's so close. See, if I just take my time and look. If I just take my time. <laughs> surely. Surely it will happen. Oh, yeah, it's this way. Come on. See, sometimes it gets stuck. There we go. scared. <laughs> okay, this one, this one. And then, where to next? Okay, it's the complete all the way down. I got it. I got it. Here we go. Oh my god, sweet land. <laughs> I'm sure that's normally like a five minute puzzle, but here at, here at uh, twitch.tv slash creasin, we like to uh, make it a 20 minute puzzle. <laughs> Huh. 
One thing I really like about this game versus newer Final Fantasies is that you can use your magic on all enemies or on all teammates for no extra MP. At, this, at least I don't think it's extra MP. I've been doing it this whole time. It's pretty nice. Also, Edgar has these sweet tools you can use. I just realized that um, I don't have people in rows, which is part of my problem right now, I think. Oh, hi, Mike. It is the same cost, you just do less damage. Yeah, I noticed that you did less healing, for sure. But it's nice, because then you just keep it as like a maintenance type thing. They are separated into rows. They just didn't look like it. No. Oh no, another <laughs> another mysterious map. Gao is my favorite character so far. S like easily. We got Setzer last uh last stream. And oh why did I morph? I didn't mean to do that. Setzer is a... Uh, He's not a bad character or anything, but uh, Cross Cotton would, was uh, ta talking to me about it, and it's true. It's super bizarre that uh, of all the characters in this game, Setzer is the one that they put into uh, into Kingdom Hearts. Of all the characters, that's so bizarre. Ooh, I should not have done that. I should have used that solo heal. Yeah, Terra's gonna die. Yeah, she's dead. <laughs> Terra's dead. You think sets are rules? You would think sets are rules. I think he's okay. He tried to force the woman to marry him. It was a different time. Yeah, it's just a very bizarre choice of all the characters, and it seems like uh, many characters are very beloved. Out of here. I would have thought they'd do like a Sabine, you know? I'm really bad at navigating these maps because it's like, I'm just hard at that. It's, I'm not good at like telling which things are paths and which things are like cliffs. <laughs> I swear I have glasses. I'm not wearing them. Maybe I should wear my glasses. I'm surprised, I'm, or I'm sad you weren't here uh, for the opera, Mike. I was loving the opera. Yeah, I guess he hasn't had a bunch of story. I mean, every time I go to, what's the town that they're uh, the rulers of? Every time I go to Edgar and Sabine's castle, I, uh, the game tells me that, uh, like hints that I should bring Sabine with me and I always forget every time. <laughs> A top three moment in gaming history. That's bold. I mean, it is really good. Also, it was perfect because I played the opera scene and then the very next morning, all the Final Fantasy music gets put on Spotify. So I had to figure out which, uh, which one it was in Japanese. But I was able to figure it out, and I've been listening to Final Fantasy music at work, like, all day, every day for the last two days. Which, by the way, underrated Final Fantasy soundtrack is definitely uh, Final Fantasy XIII. Final Fantasy XIII had such a good soundtrack. But it gets buried under the game that it is. It's a pity. 
The only bum out is that there's no Final Fantasy X-2 on the soundtrack. And... Or on the on Spotify. I imagine because they had some licensed artists and stuff, but it's a bum out because you know, A Thousand Words and Eternity are two of my fa Oh no, Cyan's dead. <laughs> uh, they're more of my... Uh, they're, they're up there with, among my favorite Final Fantasy songs, so I was really excited and I can't listen to those. Revive Cyan! Hopefully there's a place to buy items somewhere along this, because I am underprepared for what I headed toward. Yeah, I feel like it has to be some sort of licensing thing, because yeah, they have a thousand words and that, <laughs> the uh, oh, emotion, that, what can I do for you? That song. <laughs> That song is also by some actual artist. It's kind of the same thing with, like, uh, I think that's part of why the Goofy movie soundtrack is not available for streaming in most places. Oh, no! I don't know why I thought this the switch with a, uh, oh, man, I should have done the, uh, there's a chest over there that I should have gotten first. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know why I thought that the <laughs> kill switch would be a, not a trap. Juno! Come here. I'm trying to lure this cat here. For a little bonus cat stream. Ooh. Whoa! This ninja is out of control. <laughs> Hopefully there's a save point somewhere. All right, I don't know why I keep hitting these switches, but I'm definitely gonna do it again. N nuts! I thought I had the monopoly on stuff buried in the plaza beneath the grand stairway. <laughs> All right, that was a very specific hint. Uh, was a very specific hint. We gotta look for stuff buried under the plaza in the central hallway. We got wrecked. I feel like there's gonna be a save point right around the corner. I'm gonna try this anyway. Oh, there we go. Oh, I wasted so many items. Oh, okay. I feel less bad with the fact that it gave me a, it gave me a tent to go with. Right, let's save for sure. This been, we've, we've been having a rough go of it tonight, man. The, the encounter rate on this is so... It's so high. There's so many encounters. Ooh, okay, so... Uh, fire heals those guys. I think I've been accidentally healing those guys this whole time. Oh, hell yeah! Gow! <laughs> Sometimes Gow just throws rocks really hard, and it's the best. Yeah, they're undead, but I don't have healing items, so I guess I could waste cure, but there's that one that it doesn't hurt, so I don't want to waste that. <laughs> You're just here to add yellow to the chat? Hell yeah, thanks Rolo. Much appreciated. I forgot that you, uh, you upgraded to the beanie. You're at the beanie now. You're a beanie boy. Some might call you a beanie baby. Uh, yeah, I don't wanna... I wanna hoard all my MP. God! I hope I'm not too severely underleveled, because it's feeling like I might be. Worst case scenario, we go back. <laughs> yeah, never stop chatting. That's the spirit. Compared to Chris, you are a beanie baby. Hey, I think that Grizz and I might be like the same age, so. <laughs> or at least close to it.
So you're the baby. You're the baby around these parts. You're like the baby in uh, the dinosaur show. <laughs> the dinosaur show that you probably don't know that I, uh, what I'm referencing because you're a baby. <laughs> you know, I'm the baby. Gotta love me. That's you. That's you, roll. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Not the mama. Get him. Get him. Mike, what does the uh, morph do with Terra? I, I get that it actually like morphs her, but I think I keep messing up and missing the actual the prompts as her or something. I can't seem to nail it. It lets her double cast? Oh, okay. What up, Raji man? Let's do double cast and powers over magic. Oh, okay. Your brother loves dinosaurs? He loves the show dinosaurs or just the dinosaurs in general? Or both? <laughs> I feel like loving the show dinosaurs is a side effect of loving dinosaurs themselves. The show, okay. I remember watching it at. Oh, wow. Gow. Gow. Oh. How's everybody's. Everybody's uh, learning. Everybody's learning some magic. MP you have, the longer you stay morphed. Oh, okay. And she takes half damage. That's good to know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. One of these tunnels where you can't see where you're going. We should only be in there for 25 minutes. You just missed, Mike, the, um... You know the puzzle where the floor switches? Uh, that took me an embarrassing amount of time. He also liked Tales from the Crypt. Dude, my dad loved Tales from the Crypt. And I remember specifically, like, we had this place where, like, if you wanted a fireplace, the fireplace would have been. But we didn't get a fireplace, so instead we just had this weird hole in the wall. Not, like, uncovered or anything. Like, it, was, it wasn't, like, a literal hole, but it was, like, a, a little inlet in the house. And I remember my dad watching it, and whatever was on the screen was so scary that I, like, went and hid in that inlet and covered my eyes. <laughs> it was so scary. Yeah, kitty! She's finally arrived. It's excusable for a first time playthrough. I feel like if you saw how long it took me, you might not, you might not agree with that sentiment, but I'll take it. Oh no. Uh, 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 it. Okay, you just gotta wiggle around until you find a way out. Yeah, the intro was so scary. And I remember specifically, oh, the bridge. I remember specifically there being an episode where like, a girl doesn't have a face for some reason. And I remember that being like, where's her face? Why does she have a face? <laughs> but honestly, I think it was one of those things where like I was supposed to be doing something else, but I insisted on loitering around. So my dad was like, fine, well, we're watching Tales from the Crypt. <laughs> and I was like, no. Oh. I was like, well, then you should go be doing your homework or whatever I was supposed to be doing. I'm so happy to have Cyan back. I like Locke, but um, as a party member, I don't really. He's not my. He's not my favorite party member. Ooh, Edgar. You also had a motion activated witch. Wait, did you have the motion activated witch out on more than just Halloween? Cyan's been zombified. It was mostly just out to scare you. Oh, Too young for homework when Tales from the Crypt came out. 
That makes sense that he takes specific builds to make him really, like, viable. I really wish that I was good at Sabine, because he is very powerful. But I just... I cannot do those inputs. Besides the one, I can do, like, the main one. It's over here. What is this? This looks like a button. It is a button. Secret door. <laughs> yeah, Tifa Lockhart. That's the one. <laughs> there was a closet you actively avoided because they put her in there. They probably hid like your Christmas presents in there and stuff behind the behind the witch. If I had to, if I had, if I was a parent, that's what I would do. I'm gonna advise my sister that she does that for my niece and nephew. Like I have this great idea. The only thing is that my sister's a scaredy cat, so she probably would scare herself more than she'd scare them. <laughs> He's the strongest in the game easily. Yeah, that's a pity for me. I just like, even with fight, I mean, it's that's why I don't play fighting games, because I just, I can't do it. Uh... That's why I can only play Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> Although I guess I, I finally fucked up and learned combos in Devil May Cry, so maybe I could do it. If I put my mind to it. Oh. I'm not struggling as bad now that people are leveling up a bit. Ooh. Ooh. Everybody's learning their magic from these espers. I don't know, I feel like Edgar's abilities are pretty nuts. Did we just get a Magisite? We did. Also, let's see what everybody's... Let's see, maybe we can... Yeah, everybody can do little upgrades. Can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. That is quite the saying, my friend. That sounds like it stemmed from, stems from the Midwest. <laughs> Edgar's triple list here. Best dude, best character. Ah, uh, I mean, he's a, he is a good dude. I don't know if he's the best dude. He is still a little bit of a creep. He does have a dope cape, though. I can't argue with with the dope cape. It's a song. You can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. I can't say that I've ever heard it. I'm gonna sing it to the the tune of uh, a little dust on the bottle. You can't skate in a buffalo herd. Don't let it fool ya. I'm out skating in the forest. <laughs> the, I mean, Buffalo aren't in the forest. That song went a, went a jar, a jar. This whole bit went awry. <laughs> Dan cancel it, it's done. It's done. You heard it on Jackass? I probably have heard it then. It sounds familiar now. I was having my own car karaoke session on the on the drive home today. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys are big Spice Girls fans, but the song Stop by the Spice Girls was on. And mwah, I did tell Mike that I love the opera. I did. And I told him all about how I listened to it all day at work. Because it, it, like, like Destiny itself, the... Final Fantasy soundtracks went up the next morning, right after. And I'm going to Distant Worlds, and I realized that this that's kind of the best thing about the fact that I'm playing in this game right now, is that when I go to Distant Worlds, I'm gonna know... I'm gonna know these songs. <laughs> this, like, because I know most of the Distant Worlds set, but there's a few songs here and there that I didn't ever know. One of which is the opera song. I was always like, what is this long song? Uh, and since I had no attachment to it, I mean, spoilers, I would skip it sometimes. I saw Spice Girls live when you were in fifth grade. <laughs> Wait, why don't you hear? <laughs> oh, I thought. Why do you hear so much static, Rolo? <laughs> we gotta get you a, a CD player, or oh, better yet, let's get you a cassette tape player, and we'll uh, <laughs> we'll, be, we'll make you some mixtapes fresh off the radio. These are now that I know these are buttons. This makes things very interesting. The Spice World Tour. So I, my my Spice Girls 
claim to fame is that I, uh, you know, back in the day before Planet Hollywood was a was a casino in Las Vegas, there was a restaurant, Planet Hollywood, at the Caesar's Palace, and I remember it was like a special occasion that we, whoa, that Tara's dead, that we went there and ate. So. They had some contest, and I remember I just entered it and won a limited edition set of Spice Girls buttons from Planet Hollywood. I've looked them up online. They're worth like 50 bucks. Very important. Very rare. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna run out of Phoenix Downs here. a lot of tonics. Let's... <laughs> but what? But? Wait, what? Wait, what are you talking about? The radio station's too far away. That's a pity. Who said anything about butts? I think your radio is too far away, Rollo. <laughs> I think you're not getting signal. <laughs> I also think you're third. Yeah, butts for brains. Come on. Oh, oh, oh no. I don't know what Sword Tech 2 is, but I just used it. It seems fine. Ooh, enjoy your chicken. Chicken sounds so good. I don't know why everything sounds good. I already ate. Help, Miguel. You're my only hope. Butt implants are not sterile. Nothing is sterile. Press Cottonwood here is making a Okay, so this is moving that. I'm making a reference to a post in a Discord that we are in. That I was not present for. <laughs> Sword Tech 2 is a counter? Uh, I mean, I could look at the menu, but it was just an accident. All I know is I love 1 and I love 4. If you had to wager a percentage that you think that I'm at through this game, what would you wager? What you reckon? Wow, I can't believe Edgar lived through that. 14%, hell yeah. <laughs> Gao did not live through that. I will remember Gao. Do, 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 do. 25%, that's where I like it. Twenty five to thirty five percent. Oh, oh, snap. Do I have like a revive magic at all? I have haste reflect. Oop, we don't want to use carbuncle. Oh, I was looking at the wrong person. It's magic. I do. I have life. Yes. Why am I using these phoenix downs? Yeah, this is the epilogue. We're already done. We beat the game. Extra 10 added because of the optional stuff in the second half. Okay, okay. Ooh, 30 MP. That's why we're using Phoenix Downs. But I do have plenty of pictures or whatever. These guys are tough in this in this section. There's a switch inside. I feel like we gotta flick the switch. Put that down. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh no, Celeste gives birth to Cloud. Big spoilers. You're being, you're hamming it up, Cross. You're, you're hamming it up today. More like Cross Hammond would, because it's such a ham. <laughs> yeah. We, the, the community has decided Cross Conduit is canceled. <laughs> you're on. A, this is the highest moment of your life. What food did you eat? What was great? What was great? What was the great food? I got, my mind got way. Uh, oh my god, my mouth got way ahead of my mind there. Twice. Sushi. Sushi. Okay, I guess I need to go flip that switch back. I think I was not supposed to flip that switch. Wait, no. What? How did that get put back together? I don't know what I did. I just I. Uh, what kind of sushi? What kind of? I want to know every roll. I want to know every roll. I want to know all of your sushi. <laughs> oh no, you got <laughs> Taco Bell hot sauce in your new tattoo. Good thing you eat mild like a weenie or else you would have had a real bad time. Ah! Ha! Ha! Punked ya. <laughs> Who did I just accidentally heal? I don't think I, so I think I solo healed someone in an accident. I was telling them earlier, I went to Del Taco, and they asked me when I ordered how many hot sauces I wanted, which was weird. Uh, you know, that doesn't normally happen. So I was like, oh, cool, four. And then they were like, here you go, here's 15. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me uh, answer that question, I guess. Ooh, you had a spicy tuna, you had a crunchy shrimp, you had a salmon roll. An orange dragon roll. No, I did not get a Beyond Taco because I, I forgot that they had them. And then after I ordered, I saw that they had the ad for it. I do want to try it. I also want to get the Impossible Burger from Fat Burger. Or from work. We often have the, fat, the Impossible Burger at work. I just figure I'd rather have it from Fat Burger where they have one job, which is to cook burgers. Because Gordon Ramsay always says, the smaller the menu, the more practiced they are at the thing. You know, when Gordon Ramsay was talking about Fat Burger. <laughs> oh no, the poke place near you has Beyond Tuna. That does sound scary. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like regular tuna though, so. Yeah, Carl's has Beyond Burger. I've had some uh, imitation chicken before. Like the, I forget the brand. It's a very popular Gardein. Is that it? Uh, because fun fact about me is that I am a picky eater and when I was in Sweden one of the times I was there it was there were three of us my friend who has celiacs <laughs> my friend who's a vegan and me who's a picky eater so we had to find something that would work for all of us and so I was I mean obviously I'm the easiest compromise there so I was like yeah I'll try whatever you put in it and we had some pasta with like vegan ch vegan chicken and vegan cheese in it it was really really good and nobody's stomach got upset This is the sealed gate. What an eerie place. From here on, it's all up to Terra. Oh, she's the only one that can go? Oh no. Like 50 more? Huh. That's cool. I'll have to try one eventually. Uh oh. Terra! The gate, quickly! Kafka! You followed us. I can't do the laugh, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> the Empire was right. Let Terra fall into your hands, and you'd open the gate for us. How does it feel to know you've been working for us? Now I fear you've outlived your usefulness. I'll beat you up. You'd better think again, Kefka. Oh 
dear. You wanna fight me? It's just dreadful. Keep Kefka busy until Terra slips through the gates. I thought that was gonna be like an option of menus. Was it? I'm proud. Someone, uh, someone should cope it. I'll watch it later. I always think I sound like I'm doing good impressions and then people are like, I don't know what noise you made. <laughs> oh no. Antidote! Oh, okay, that was fast. <laughs> yeah, I do want to fight you. Espers, please heed my call. Or anything came. <laughs> I think Kefka played possum there. Frightful energy. Oh no, all the espers are loose. Terra! Gates playing Plinko with rocks. <laughs> yeah, it looks a little bit like a skull. It looks more like a pretzel that someone ate the part off of. Like, you know when you're a little kid and you eat pretzels into a specific shape? You're like, look, I made the letter S. <laughs> it does look a little like a Goomba. What about those espers? Look, let's return to the airship. Uh-oh. What happened to Terra in there? We're doing okay. We I'm not lost anymore. Uh, I fought Kefka just long enough to get poisoned, which is real nice. Use my favorite spell, Ant Dot. Ant Dot. <laughs> that is a positive. It's a, it's a, we're on the up and up. I did my best impression of a Kefka laugh. Here. Did I go in here? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I'm coming up on a fantastic section. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, I hate there's nothing that infuriates me with myself. Like, I get mad at myself more than uh, when I accidentally touch my glasses. It makes me so upset. Like, why did I do this to myself? <laughs> Spike. Yeah, I, uh... I am neurotic about my glasses. I see some people who let their glasses get, like, visibly dirty to other people, and I'm like, why? Why are you... Why are you the way? Why are you the way that you are? My hands, my boy. What up, Natasha? So Tassel, uh, were you able to like, did you, I mean, obviously I'm sure you tried, but like your, your Super Mario RPG is like totally boned. You couldn't get like a, uh, couldn't get it at all. That's a bad, that's a bad time. That sucks. Hopefully the place that you bought it from will work with you. Oh, this door opened. Okay. I bought Super Mario RPG. Now, now that that happened to you, I'm gonna neurotically go through all these games that I bought and make sure all of them work. I think they have like a two-week uh, warranty at the place I bought them. All right. We gotta get going. We gotta get back to this airship. I really want to know how to get into this locked room down here. Maybe something I did in there unlocked this room. Nope, nothing unlocked that room. 
<laughs> I feel like there's no way into that. Tossel suffered a real tragedy, Mike, that her, uh, her, uh, Super Nintendo games seem to have been tragically misplaced. And her GameCube games. We gotta start you a GoFundMe <laughs> and share it on everyone's Facebooks. With a, with a, with a detailed backstory. Oh, yeah, 100%. Uh, 100% pull the, the surgery card. <laughs> that room will tell me when I can use it? Okay. What happened? The Espers flew, to get, flew off together. I missed a word there. Then the Empire citizens ran off as though they were terrified. Which way did the Espers go? Toward the capital. Oh, I hope the Espers are about to mess everyone up. Vector. We're almost, a we're almost at Vector. What's that? We're gonna fight another crane. <laughs> That's true, it's not a lie. It is not a lie. What's wrong, Terra? I can feel it. It's coming closer and closer. It's the Black Waltz from Final Fantasy IX! <laughs> it traveled back in time to ruin this game! What do you mean you could feel it? It was... glowing. What's that? It can't be... an Esper? It's coming! Watch out, Terra! Oh. What was that? Sensor, get down! Ooh. Like it locks, saving everyone's lives. Yeah, there you go. You just gently embellish, you know? <laughs> Let them know. Let them know it was all the surgery's fault. <laughs> That's my best gulp noise. I think I'm better at the Kefka laugh than the gulp. Espers? Where are they going? Heck yeah. What kind of chicken was it, Rolo? Fried chicken? Grilled chicken? Oven baked chicken? Shrimp gumbo? Shrimp tartar? They were mad. They seemed angry. No. Stop. Please. Don't go. Forget that. What's with this vibration? Is it from the Espers? Um, Setzer. I've lost control. Oh no, is our, air is our airship about to crash? Buffalo chicken. Ah, yeah. I don't know what that word means, Tazla. <laughs> I don't even... Spotch, spotchcocked, spatchcocked, spatchcocked. Is it? Are you? <laughs> this feels like a. This feels like a trick word. <laughs> Although tonight all words feel like trick words to me. <laughs> it's Dr. Seuss chicken. One chicken, blue chicken. Buffalo chicken, spatchcock chicken. There's a walkin' in my pocket. Dude, I used to love walking in my pocket. That was my jam. Alright, let's get back inside here. Alright, Rolo. After you were just making fun of Devin for going to bed at the time that you're now going to bed. <laughs> Listen, I know, you're more than welcome to go to bed. But I'm gonna I'm gonna report back to Devin what you've done. No! I didn't mean to put people <laughs> You got the lemon spatchcock chicken from Trader Joe's? Man, I have a... I have a... Love-hate relationship with Trader Joe's because... They have some stuff that I really like. But it's so busy all the time. It's so busy at Trader Joe's. It's insane. Yeah, orange brine and a lemon brine one. See what's become of the Empire. Hurry! No, we're not changing party members. Yeah, you can link it. I don't think my Automod does anything about that. For the time being, I don't know this guy's. How do I get out? Who are you? Alright, let's look at this. What is Spatchcock Chicken? Chicken with the backbone removed so it'll lay flat. Oh, cut so it'll lay flat. Open like a book. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, I feel like uh, this chicken, I just looked at this chicken in an indecent state. <laughs> that does look good though. So it's like a rotisserie chicken with the backbone taken out, and then you uh, cut it and lay it out flat. That's pretty cool. I love buying the um, rotisserie chickens from Costco, and then uh, peeling them up from, peeling them up and putting them in stuff. Go whole customer. Go whole. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna greet every single person I come across now. Oh, I'll go whole! Uh, need any refreshments? Yes. I could have fucking healed myself for free this entire time. I thought when he said refreshments that he was gonna, like, sell me stuff. This guy's gonna sell me stuff. Does it have a belly button? Oh, the chicken has a belly button, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we gotta buy some items. I, w I would blew through a lot of items there in that place, in that evil place. Smoke bomb. I'm gonna make sure I have 10 of every ail- 10 of every ailment thingy. I still don't know what a warp stone does. I probably should figure it out one of these days. Oh, uh, there's no green cherries here. Okay. Let's save. It's been a little bit. I love the world map music. Okay, I'm trying to get back to Vector, yeah? Oh, Vector so far. Let's see what's over here. Ugh, the forest. Warp to cities? Oh, okay. I'm not gonna do that for this because I don't wanna, um... I don't wanna waste one. And also, I should level. I feel like I'm definitely a little under-leveled after that last dungeon. I was, I was, uh... I was pretty well leveled for a little bit with <laughs> from that time that I got super lost for like 40 minutes. So I I know I know how it feels. Oh yeah, I definitely don't know my way around. I had to stop the stream a little early last time on Tuesday because I could, I was so lost. I could not I didn't know anywhere I was going. I love this big pit bull. Is that Ralph or Chicken Lip? There were two enemies there. One was named Ralph and one was named Chicken Lip. I want to. I demand to know which one's Ralph and which one's Chicken Lip. Immediately. We gotta kill them one at a time next time. I should, I should just sit down and have a practice session with Sabine. Also, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I love this game so much that I went out and uh, bought Final Fantasy IV, aka Final Fantasy II for Super Nintendo. I bought it. I bought it on eBay. It's on its way. It's on its way to me. I got the shipping notification today. So we're in for a lot of Final Fantasy down the road. There's a town. What town is this? Miranda. This is where that soldier was from. There's an inn. We'll stay at the inn just for good measure. Yeah, it would probably change it, but I look forward to uh, beating it without Sabine and then getting 800 YouTube comments telling me how dumb I was for not using Sabine. <laughs> that's my one, that's my true joy in life. Anything in the fire? Okay. Miranda used to be this continent's most beautiful town. Look what the Empire has done to it. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Final Fantasy VI hipster. <laughs> oh, you used to be. These troopers are crazy. How long can things keep going on like this? All right, we definitely need... I think I need more armor. Or better armor. A bard's hat. Everybody's got a bard's hat. It makes me sad that it still shows me Shadow and Celeste here. Green Beret. A mithril helm. A mithril vest. Mithril male. Ooh. 
definitely, I think I want two of those. Yes, sir. system I mean I understand it I've tried it for some reason when I input when I do any input other than left right a left right left a I cannot like it just doesn't I think it's because of the direct the, you know how the directional pads are on these older games I think it's a bit of that going on I'm just like button mashing We need something better for Terra, I feel like. Oh no, we actually, we bought her. She can wear Mithril Mail. Okay, we'll get her that too. Green Beret. Everybody is already wearing one or something equal to it. Okay. Check out the weapons. My son's being forced to. Sh to s <laughs> I read that as Saru. I was like Saru. Uh, my, for my son's being forced to serve in the Empire's army. Zen and Albrook too fell to the Empire. All right. Are these guys? Oh, I was like, <laughs> I really was like, oh look, they're playing with dogs, and then I realized that they are having a dog fight. <laughs> they are doing the opposite of playing with dogs. You should hear the gossip floating around here. <laughs> this town's ours, ours to play with. Place all bets here. <gasps> this is our only means of recreation. I feel like you could find something else to do. Scram! Whew, okay. Well, the guy who told me to scram is definitely like a townsperson who immediately flipped on all his friends and family. <laughs> he was like, oh no, we've been overtaken. Who wants to have a dog fight? I'm a cool guy. <laughs> I'm a cool guy, don't you trust me? We're good on weapons. Is there any secret doors back here? No. Oh, where are you? My love hasn't sent me back any letters since he's been gone. I'm sick with worry. Oh, that's the lady. That's the... Oh, no. He's dead. <laughs> That's the one from the castle, right? Yeah. Oh no. We need to save this woman. Aisha. 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 No. Aisha. Say you want to get hitched? Oh no. We need to save him. She's chasing him. How bold of me to presume. They flipped the script on us. All right. That's it for the town of Miranda, I suppose. Let's get a move on. Back to Vector. I just assume I'm supposed to leave the airship since it uh, crashed into the ground. Oh, now I can find out if the dog is Ralph or Chicken Lip. It's Ralph. The dog is Ralph. What a great name for a dog enemy. This is the dog. You have to know something else. Yeah, Bolt. It's your boy, Ralph. He looks uh, a little bit like a he would be from the Super Mario movie. The live-action Super Mario movie. that vibe about him. I forgot that I knew level 2 magic. I should have been using it this whole time. I, I think I just learned it at the end of the last, uh, last dungeon, though. Can you only 
send Gao out to learn in the specific desert that you found him in? Or can he learn in any desert? Ralph, 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 Ralph. I should switch out um, Esper's on. Everybody. It's, it has to be on the belt? Okay. There has to be one that I can learn, uh, like, Cure 2 from. So we're starting to get up there a little bit in... In HP. Cure, cure level 1 is not doing it for me anymore. Chainsaw! Chainsaw is so fun. Look at it go. Fast, like a chainsaw, chainsaw, chainsaw. Okay, let's see. Let's switch out to Mesmers. Because I think everybody really, for the most part, learned. Yeah. There's a way to see, right? Is it status? I remember getting all the alerts for it. Uh, Phantom, Bismarck, Carbuncle, Shoat? Shoat? Dude, I have gotten three text messages today from spam, like, fake Wells Fargo numbers. This one is at ourmobtraffic.com. <laughs> I think they're trying to fool me into thinking I owe the Mafia money. Makes the party members invisible. Bismarck. Oh, here we go, Unicorn. Cure 2. You learn Unicorn. You. I definitely haven't switched Esper's on this dude in a long time. It's Show trying to trick me. It is. Just the wrong person. It is really cool to just be able to teach people stuff. It's like a nice blend between Materia and Junction. Alright, there's Vector. Let's save. The thing is gone. The thing from earlier. Oh yeah, the Esper's messed these dudes up. It's what they deserve. Can we sleep for free? No. I, I'm so sad we can't sleep in this burning home. Yeah, the stat bonus as well. Returner, what on earth? What's going on? Okay, they all say what on earth. And they all say what's going on. Yep, okay. Yeah, a lot of the stuff in this game seems very ahead of its time. I don't know if I ever got to really explore Vector before it burned down. I don't remember doing so. Because, oh yeah, we had to do the weird, like, side escape thing. To sneak in where the guy pretended to throw up. <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> I'm a returner sympathizer. I'm gonna go pretend to throw up. It was like this when we got here. What are you talking about? Talking with Esperus? Yeah, it seems uh, it's very unique so far. It's it's unique in the like the character stuff is crazy. Like, first of all, how many characters there are and how much focus there is on all of them. The Emperor is expecting you. This way. Which Emperor? Gestal? Where's Sid? I've 
lost my will to fight. That's it, we beat the game. Way to go. <laughs> the Emperor's had a change of heart. Sid! The Espers came to save their friends. When they learned the others had perished, they went berserk and trashed the town. Never will I forget their shrieks of rage. We're hanging up our weapons and armors for good. <laughs> I, that's right, Boat Knight. This is the last Final Fantasy. It's the true final Final Fantasy. The power of those espers. I had no idea. They'll shred the world. We must get them to understand that we are no longer at war. Shrieks of rage, too. <laughs> oh, you. No human's gonna make them sit down and listen. But for now, my friends, let us feast and rejoice. This is a trap. We should not eat this guy's food. I feel like we will 100% get poisoned. There are some people here who prefer to keep fighting. Please, before we dine, talk to as many soldiers as you can. Make them understand. This is, seems like an odd quest. Please talk to as many soldiers as you can. You have four minutes until dinner. Oh my god. Where are they at? One person. Okay. We're not going to read out loud what they said because I want to go fast. This seems like uh, it's going to tie into one of those, uh, those thingies that this game has. The tower defense things. Guards. There we go. Oh my god, there's so many in here. I hit the mother load. Nope! Not that one! Not that one! Can we run away from him? I don't want him to waste all our time. It does matter for something? Alright, alright. You missed, uh, in, in the opera. I made it to the octopus with three seconds to spare. <laughs> you, sleeping guard. Get me out of here. I oppose peace. <laughs> what a thing to say. Well, I hate peace. Well, I hate baloney. Yeah, it was all for show. I definitely wasn't struggling to fight the rats. Not me. Not me. Alright. Let's get out of here. Where are they at? Where are they at? There he is. Hello. The Empire will never die. Uh, uh, uh. That guy just yelled, you're not wanted at me, and then joined my cause? <laughs> I think he did. Oh. I took a bad detour. Kepka's in jail. That's surprising. Oh no. That's exactly right, Boat Knight. He was like, I hate your guts, but I will join your cause. You don't have to ask twice. He's dead, he's dead. And by dead, I mean he joined our, he joined our side. Basically, if people don't agree with us, we beat him up till they do. All right, now we gotta get to the other side. way I came. Oh no. How do I get back down? Oh my god, this guy. Get the... Whoa. Oh, right here. Can I do that on this side? I can. <laughs> I hate peace. Death to peace. Is 
this guy a soldier? Technically, yes. Oh, God. I almost missed an item. How could I? Oh, God. There was another item there. I like how uh, Kefka using poison is the thing that's finally there. Like, you know what? That was too far when you poisoned that entire castle full of people. Yeah, there's lots of loitering in Final Fantasy games. <laughs> what is Kefka doing? Uh, how dare they put me in a place like this? I don't believe this. Oh, we're wasting time. We're all out of time. What a bore. I wasted time on Kefka. I should have known. Kefka poisoned an entire town. Boat night. He killed innocent people. That evening, the banquet with the Empire took place. I can't believe we ate their food. Ugh, we should not go to their banquet. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> this way, please. I love Sid's outfit. He looks like he's wearing a raincoat. Come down here, Tara. You'll float too. He is a little bit of a court jester. Yes, he's a clown. You can count me in as a returner. Imagine, all of us here together, sharing a meal. First, we must have a toast. To the Empire, to the returners, to our hometowns. Let's do to our hometowns. We'll keep it, uh, we'll keep it neutral. Well then, to our hometowns. As you know, Kef is in jail for war crimes. What shall we do with him? Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> oh no, if we say leave him in jail, he'll surely break out, right? But I feel like the biggest punishment for Kefka is to leave him in jail. I think that Kefka, uh, Kefka's biggest weakness would be being bored. So let's leave him in jail. Hmm. Well, let's let him stew in his cell for a while. Then we'll decide what to do. I truly apologize about the poisoning of Doma. No one dreamed Kefka would use poison. What's done is done. That was inexcusable. Apologize again. <laughs> apologize again! <laughs> no, we'll go with that was inexcusable. I'm so terribly sorry. Kefka's being severely punished, and we're cleaning up the poison. By the way, with regard to the general, with, <laughs> with regard to General Celeste, was she an Imperial spy? Celeste is one of us. She made it very clear she was not a spy. I wouldn't. I'm, I don't question her. I trust her with my whole being. We'll just say we trust her, but we don't want to out her. At, we don't want to out her as a spy. Kefka was lying. General Celeste realized the war was stupid before anyone else. That's why she joined the Returners. Any other questions for me? Why'd you start the war? My desire for power got the best of me. Now I've come to my senses. With your permission, I'd like to talk about the espers. One more question. Why do you want peace now? I feel we need each other's help at, time, at this time. I do also want to know why he wanted us to talk to the soldiers. Let's find out. Why'd you have me talk to your men? Some of my men refused to embrace peace. I felt they'd understand if they actually met you face to face. Alright, let's talk about espers. Oh, sorry, Juno. Oh, I missed the I missed the sentence. Uh-oh. They're acting spiteful. Unless they're stopped, they'll rip the world asunder. Yeah, we're not gonna blame the espers for this. This was our fault. This was humans' fault. After the Esper went out on the rampage, I knew I couldn't go on with my war. I asked myself why I'd started it in the first place. By the way, about those questions you asked me, what did you ask first? I asked why'd you start the war. Right. Anyway, more than anything, I want peace. That's my true dream. I want you to understand that. This is definitely a trick. You seem a bit tired. Care for a rest break? Let's keep talking, bro. Is there anything you wish to hear me say? 
want you to apologize. I understand. I'm truly sorry for what I've done. Now I must ask for a favor. After they've devastated my empire, the Esper is headed northward, toward Crescent Island. They must be found. We must tell them we're no longer their enemy. After all that I've done, after all that I've put them through, it's up to me to set things right. This is, a, I don't trust this guy. Why are our characters trusting this guy? That is why I need to borrow Terra's power. Only Terra can bridge the gap between Esper and human. Mm -mm, don't do it. We must make, we must make for Crescent Island aboard the freighter from Ar, I almost read that as Arbok, from Albrook. Will you accompany me? I mean, I kind of have to, right? But I don't want to. I'll have my finest warrior accompany us. General Leo. Welcome back, Stex. I'm General Leo. Nice to meet you. You. You're Cyan. Leash, the King of Doma. Please forgive me for not there being there to stop Kefka. Oh yeah, Leo was a good dude. That wasn't your fault. Leo did try to stop Kefka. I trust Leo. I'll be awaiting for you, for you in Albrook. We must find the espers and come to terms with them. You are our last hope. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. It only took an hour, but I caught her. This is Juno. Oh, I just rubbed you all over my microphone. My headset microphone now has so much gap for on it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I dropped her and she went to catch herself in my arm. That was my fault. I did that to myself. Okay, anyway. Tara goes, I'll go. Look, thank you. The rest of you wait here. I smell a rat. Agreed. Agreed! <laughs> it's hard to trust the Empire just like that. We'll stay here and investigate. Please do. Leave no stone unturned. See, Boat Knight, I think she does know. I think she does know she's on camera. Sometimes I point the camera at her on my phone and she'll, like, stop what she's doing and roll over. I'm like, oh. Right. And you be careful. Man. Now we gotta carry Locke around? <laughs> I got the hiccups. What Esper should he have? I'll give him Madwin. Madwin. Oh, he needs sprint shoes. You need sprint shoes, my dude. What else do we want? We'll protect against poison, dark, and zombie. Do I have the relic that lets him attack when he steals? Ah, uh, I know he was doing that earlier, but I didn't know that was based on a. Oh my god, is it based on a thing? He was doing it automatically. I thought. My cat does love to watch out the window. Actually, I have the window cracked a little bit. Like, not open, but the blinds cracked a little bit. Uh, because I always feel bad closing the blinds on her for my stream. But otherwise, the light is bad. Um, so we compromised today. I closed the blinds most of the way. I don't know if I have a Genji glove. Maybe that's what I had. That was making him do that. What is this? No 
Thief Glove said it did something else. Well, I guess this game always tells you that things do different things. It says turn steel into capture. I was doing where just normal attack was stealing at the same time. And I didn't I didn't put anything fancy on. Genji Glove gives you lets you attack twice. Oh, okay. I'm gonna leave it as is for now and see what happens. Because I definitely he was stealing and attacking at the same time earlier without any additional uh, like equipment that I thought. Yeah, it wasn't capture, it was just attack. Attack was also stealing. The war is over. The war is over. Who are you? A message from the Emperor. Because you were able to talk to so many soldiers, you are to be rewarded as follows. Imperial troops have withdrawn from South Figaro. In addition, our troops have been also been pulled out of Doma. We hereby give you the right to take any weapons you desire from the Imperial base to the east, near the sealed gate. Okay. Well. Oh, that's the door. The, the door unlocked. Albrook, support to the south of the Empire. Magitech armor. How? Our armor hauling ship pl plies the waters between Nair and Crescent Island. We'll penetrate the Imperial base. You deal with the espers. Okay. So did I get the most rewards? <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go open that room. Oh, this is Sabine, huh? Can we really trust the Empire? Uh, nah, no, I don't think we can. Ah, ah, ah! Everybody's in the way. Let's go reap that treasure. Ah. I need to scoot the chair, but whenever you know that your animal is nearby, you can't you can't scoot the chair without doing the double check. You know you don't know betrayal until you see the look in your cat's eye when you accidentally roll over their tail with a computer chair. I was a few points short of also getting an item. Aw. Uh -uh. Okay, let's see what happens here. Yeah, he's not doing it now. Yeah, I guess we'll have to equip that deep glove. I really do not like this party arrangement. But yeah, for sure it was happening, because I remember thinking to myself that I must have learned it somehow. I don't know how. I don't know how it happened. Alright. At any point, do you get to equip more than two uh, relics to people? Or would that be too out of control? Did almost perfect with no hints. I mean, I feel like I would have done better if I didn't accidentally stop and talk to Kepka. That was what goofed. That's what goofed it up for me. What's my Phoenix down moment, Boat Knight? Are you asking if I've ever died? <laughs> Hi, Tuner. How are you? And how is Ori? Good, I'm doing well. Just chugging along. Just chugging along here. Final Fantasy VI. Oh, it was a choice when he asked me during questions during dinner. Oh, okay. I probably wasn't supposed to uh, harass him so much. I didn't realize those mattered. That's fine. I actually, um, I've been keeping an eye on the Bruins and Blues playoff. Just for you. Just for you, Tuner. How are they doing tonight? 
Unless you don't want to jinx it, in which case I understand. Hey, no matter what happens, just be, uh, just remember that you're not the, you're not the Vegas Golden Knights. I'm sure the one I answered wrong was, um, when I told him I wanted him to apologize, right? Sandstorm? It's funny because that's the one where I was like, I would probably wouldn't normally answer it this way. <laughs> I knew it. I didn't know those questions counted for anything though. That's the fun of a, a blind playthrough. Oh, you get the most points for making him say the war is truly over. Would I let a giant spider kiss me if it meant I could have one extra life? Like in real life? Oh man. I don't know. That's a tough question because like when the new life comes around, is it like, is everybody I know already dead? Because I wouldn't want that. I wouldn't want to live life without the people that are in my life. That would be a bum out. And also I would not want to kiss a spider. <laughs> I hate spiders. It's a choice you have in your game? Are you playing Undertale? Is that an Undertale thing? Divinity 2. Oh, I want to buy that. I saw it's on sale. I've been meaning to get it for a long time. I've never played the first one, but I've heard it doesn't really matter. We're almost there. There we go. Alright, let's go get these items. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's a lot of gill. The wall ring. I am the wall ring. Oh my god, this is so much gold. Running shoes. Chair up down. Cure ring. Okay. I imagine that some of these have to have been Cure Ring, Cast Regen. Ooh, actually. I think I'll give that to Terra, maybe. Cherub down, Cast Float. We already had a back guard. Running Shoes, Cast Haste. Okay. Um, I don't remember what White Cape does. I wish it would tell me what I have on currently does. White cape. Protects against imp and mute. Okay, actually I'm gonna put white cape back on. The barrier ring I think just casts shell and HP low. Yeah, okay. Just be an 80 hour long game. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it is sometimes. Oh, and a flame saber. Actually, we need to optimize poor lock. Um, I guess he's as well off as he could be right now. Which 80 hour game did you play? I went the wrong way. I just, I often don't have it in me anymore to play 80 hour games, but I am. <laughs> I am back on the Final Fantasy kick, so that might- I mean, obviously that's changed. I am playing Final Fantasy VI and Final Fantasy XV at the same time, so... So I guess, uh, rip to that. Oh, the, right, the first divinity, okay. You're eating an autobrop, what flavor? What flavor? I mean, I'm not really full voice acting. 
But yeah, it, it does add on to the time because you can't just like spam through all the buttons like you would normally if you're playing by yourself. Where you're like, I'm tired of reading. A yellow otter bob. Gross. Disgusted. Hi, Jeff, by the way. Hold on a second. Aha! I thought it looked dim in here, and then I looked up and two of the bulbs on my, uh, my light wasn't on. Had to tell you-know-who from the big corporation to turn it on. Okay, let's go down here now. This is where we need to go. So here's the thing about yellow popsicles. No, not Steve Jobs. Her name starts with an A and ends with an A. <laughs> um, the thing about yellow popsicles is I love fake banana flavor. I love fake banana flavor stuff. And so a yellow popsicle should on all occasions be a banana popsicle. And when it's not a banana popsicle and it's a lemon popsicle, which is the case I think with, with the otter pops, upsetting. So upsetting. Makes me so mad. You're like, ooh, a banana treat. And then you're like, oh, bleh, bleh, tastes like piss. Cats trying to climb the trying to climb the uh, line. Where do you get banana popsicles? At Walmart, they sell in they sell packs of popsicles that are entirely banana flavored. It's all banana. Pineapple's even worse than lemon. Pineapple's worse than lemon. Now maybe we can get on with our lives. Look out if you're caught working in the returners. Business is picking up in the port. Maybe the economy will make a recovery. I hate, uh, hi Hugo. Not Hugo, I don't hate Hugo. <laughs> I hate, um, I hate pineapple. Like, I hate the actual fruit pineapple, and I don't like pineapple flavor. <laughs> it's reverse order for you. I understand, though. Like, I can fully acknowledge that most people do not like fake banana flavor, but I love fake banana flavor. Let's see if this guy's selling any fresh fresh items for us. Actually, and also let's restore Terra's MP. I like lemon... Like, I like, like a like a lemon tart, you know, like the pastry. Uh, but just like in a, in a popsicle. It's not what I want. I do not want it. Hutu. Spit on it. <laughs> exactly. Runts are, uh... I don't eat runts ever. Pick up this EP. Looks like it's good. Oh, we already own one. And we need a forged for our boy. Fake watermelon is your least favorite fake flavor. Fake, that's a hard sentence. Least favorite fake flavor? I think my least favorite fake flavor is, uh, oh, it's your most favorite? I hate, um, green apple flavored things. Buy a bunch of sugar. <laughs> I really- I was like, a bubcha? What's a bubcha shuriken? Oh my god, there are so many. Oh yeah, that's very cheap. Sure. <laughs> I'll take your advice, blindly. <laughs> Where is the weapon shop? Is there- or the armor shop? Is there no armor shop? Green apple lollipops covered with caramel. You mean actual apples? <laughs> you're talking about regular apples, boat night. <laughs> no, I actually know which ones you're talking about. I don't care for those very much. But they are very popular. I'm stuck. Oh, there's the armor shop right next to where I was. How's everybody doing? Uh, 
you know what? I keep buying this stuff thinking that it's upgrades because I forget that when everybody leaves your party, they get unequipped, it seems. Yeah, I have, candy apples are just like a big old mess. Well, yeah, green apple flavor does taste close to green apple, but that's part of why it's like not good because you're like, I want candy, not an apple. <laughs> All right, let's take the boat. The magic newcomer is being refurbished. General Leo is holding a meeting. There you are. Another of the Empire's generals and a person I hired in town will be traveling with us. <gasps> Celeste and Shadow. <gasps> Let me introduce General Celeste and Shadow. Hell yeah! What a great surprise! Is something wrong? No. Our departure is until tomorrow. I've arranged some lodging for you. Please, get some rest. I- that's very true. I am a fruit abolitionist. I love, uh, I love- I love vegetables, in case you didn't know this about me. I love vegetables. I do not like fruit very much. I like bananas, and I like melons. And I have, if I'm in the mood for an apple, I'll eat an apple. And that's about it. You ate so much broccoli, you're gonna have the toots, my dude. Celeste. She ran away. Celeste. I'm working for the Empire. But don't worry, I'm not gonna get wrote you. I don't know what that word means. <laughs> Let's look it up. Kill by strangulation, typically with an iron collar or a length of wire or cord. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank god he's not going to do that to us. I like cantaloupe. I don't like honeydew. That's the one melon that I don't care for, really. Oh wait, now that I have people in my party, I should... Oh no, I don't. I guess I don't have people in my party. General Leo, Leo told us about you, by all means. It's funny because, uh, you know, buffets are very big in Vegas. So if you ever go to a Vegas buffet and they have, like, the fruit at the salad bar, it's always, like, really, like, the watermelon and the cantaloupe getting straight murdered in the honeydew. Still this big pile. Nobody wants you, honeydew. More like, honey, don't. Ha, huh, got him. <laughs> Celeste. Come on, why won't you speak to me? Oh, the song. Even if it was only a little, I doubted you. But I'm still your friend. Celeste. Sacrifice watermelon to wipe honeydew and cantaloupe? The song is so good. Maybe the Empire stole her vocal cords. Or maybe she knows what's happening. Because this is probably a trap. So maybe she knows. But she's in a position where she can't say. So she can't talk to us. Watermelon's super temperamental. No way! Right, let's go. I probably should have saved. <laughs> it's been a long time since I saved. Yeah, I gotta play Chrono Trigger, definitely. I've heard it has a good soundtrack. Cantaloupe would be your desert island fruit? Juno. All systems A-OK. -okay. Hold on a second. My cat is straight up, like, attacking the blind. But she's doing it in this way where, like, you know when you, if you ever had a cat, or I guess dogs do it too, but you know when your pet has that look on their face, like maybe they saw a bug? She has that look on her face and it's freaking me out. <laughs> but also she might just be being wild. Anyway. We should arrive tomorrow morning. Why not rest until then? You gotta get. You guys gotta find your watermelon at the at the peak ripeness. I think that's your problem. 
You got you ain't knocking on your watermelons in the <laughs> in the grocery store. You're not picking it up going donk donk. You gotta pick it up and give it a quick donk donk. Find the perfect watermelon. You alright? <laughs> knock knock knocking on watermelon. Okay, hold on a second. I think my cat does have a bug. Give me a moment. I'm here to confirm for you that there was no bug, and my cat was in fact just being a wild animal. <laughs> Anyways, and see. Looks like you're feeling better. Funny, isn't it? I was used by the Empire. Even had my thoughts ripped from me. But here I am cooperating with the enemy. People are people. Not all of us are like Kepka. What? What's with you? <laughs> That's a rude question, Tara. I know you. <laughs> I know you were being used as some kind of biological weapon. And because I didn't do anything about it, I'm no different than Kefka. <laughs> yeah, there's not very many nice empires out there, Boat Knight. And I feel like uh, you gotta get in line, Rud, for babies with Tara. I remember, I remember you, Rudd. You didn't, uh, you didn't like my, uh, <laughs> you and I have opposite character tastes. You didn't like my Riku top character pick. Welcome back. I'm the product of a human and an esper. Will I ever be able to love someone? Of course. But, I haven't felt that way yet. She clearly hasn't met the Rudd. You're just young. But I understand what you mean. I understand only too well. Lulu is great too. Lulu is up there. I think as a grown-up, Lulu is probably like my actual favorite character from Final Fantasy X now. But I just have a such a like strong nostalgia love for Riku as a character as well. So I, they're probably, honestly, they're probably up there tied with Kamari in third. I love Kamari. Tiny Rod Soul. How's alone? How's alone? Broken horn. <laughs> All right, right. <laughs> you can settle down. <laughs> you could, you, you, you gotta, you, you gotta cool your jets, my dude. But I want to know what love is now. Who is it? Oh no. Shadow. Is Shadow her one true love? Thought I'd sleep it out under the stars. Did you hear what we were just talking about? Yeah, I heard you talking to yourself about love. <laughs> I didn't mean to overhear anything. <laughs> yeah, we gotta use Ice 2 on the run. <laughs> I can't help you. You must look within for answers. Shut the rules. <laughs> he hit you with the my man, Jeff. Tara. In this world... <laughs> I read that way wrong. In this world are many like me who have killed their emotions. Don't forget that. 
What kind of pep talk is that, Shadow? <laughs> you know, if you can't find love, you could always just shut off your emotions like me. Ugh. Uh -uh. Final Fantasy loves having seasick characters. Whoa. Or like airsick characters. Motion sick. Motion sickness is like a, a, a number one trope in Final Fantasy games. I think I'm gonna... He did it. He threw up. <laughs> oh, Rudd. Not a word of this to anyone else. Oh, shrouded one. I think I'm gonna... You make me wanna... Ah, ah, ah. Puke off the side of a ship. Cause I'm feeling sick. Ooh. This is what you do. Locke is a good character. I like Locke. You like Yuffie? Red 13 is my favorite Final Fantasy 7 character for sure. Once we find an Esper, we'll be able to restore peace. We're almost to Crescent Island. Rumor has it that the power of magic still exists on Crescent Island. Okay, can we not go talk to Celeste? We're almost at Crescent Island. When we disembark, we'll split into two groups. Celeste and I will form one group. Terra, you go with Lock and Shadow. If you spot the espers, report at once. How? How are we supposed to report? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Shadow! L-E-T-S-G-O. You don't like Yuffie as a character? Man, we truly are. Uh, we truly do have opposite character tastes. Hey, Lock. Um, I... Come on. Wow, Lock. That was a terrible decision. She was ready to talk to you. You were the jerk. You were the one that was the jerk. And she was ready to talk to you. And then you cold-shouldered her. In front of everyone. Alright, let's save. Can't believe Locke did that. We have Shadow! Alright, let's... We gotta get- we gotta hit Shadow with some relics. Oh, he still has relics from before when he stole them from me. <laughs> gauntlet... I don't know what Gauntlet does, so let's... Let's just put something else on it real quick. Gauntlet. One weapon can be held with two hands to increase damage. We'll keep that on, I guess. You ever turn your back so hard on someone they fell over? Like figuratively or uh literally. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, when he turned her back <laughs> when he turned his back, uh Celeste fell over. Shadow should always throw. Is that why he told me to buy a million uh, shurikens? His regular attack was so powerful, though. Let's see about this. Let's see about this. Oh yeah, throw is way better. <laughs> I trust the things that you say, but I just have that thing where, like, you know when you do it to your kid and, um, you were gonna clean your room or something, but then your parent is like, clean your room, and you're like, I'm never fucking cleaning my room. <laughs> I'm never cleaning my room. Ever. <laughs> That's me. I need to organize this, though. This is not good. Shuriken's all the way at the bottom. Well, 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 look who decided to show their face here, Gordon Hale. What's up, Stacks? 
Oh, you I guess you didn't leave. You did leave, but then you came back, but then you were back already. What's wrong with you? I don't know, you tell me. Uh, okay, that's such a relic. I don't remember what Black Belt does either. Black Belt! Hey, pal! Get, get your, your buttons, buttons out of my, my eyes! eyes. <laughs> Hi, Dusty. Thank you for the resub. Yeah, now it says 13 months. Even though just the other day it said 12. It's like, it's like a, when you sub, it gives an alert, but then you can also do it a separate time. You can do your... Uh, your anniversary alert? It's very weird. Black Belt. Randomly counterattacks. Oh, yeah, we're leaving that on. Um, I want that. I guess I should. I like Amulet. I also uh, avo like avoiding. I'll call him Back Guard. <laughs> Boat Knight, I replayed your animation though. I don't know what happened the other day. The other day, Boat Knight subbed and it just didn't even alert until I went to the website manually. Bun Crew. Bun Crew. It doesn't come in a jar. Bun Crew comes from who you are. I don't know. I must be having to go here yet? <laughs> That's right. That's right, Boat Knight. It was my subtle hint to get you out of here. I wish I could make the shuriken disappear higher on the list. I did. Uh, I didn't move them. Actually, I auto arranged. I should go back and move them manually to the top. I just got distracted. What happened to Locke? Did he go invisible? Locke's a dead man. Uh, items. Shark can. Oh, he got blown away. He was blown away by the Rudd's uh, character opinions. He read that he didn't like Yuffie and he, uh, he, he blew away into the wind. Locke's a treasure hunter. Yuffie's a treasure hunter. They're practically the same character. They're exactly the same. Sure she is. She's a materia thief who just wants to uh, impress her dad. Do I find myself saving items for the most desperate situations? Yeah, absolutely. I think I still have every elixir that I've picked up so far in this game. Elixirs are like hot commodities. Oh, wow. Strangers. Arsenal. Ooh, darts. 10,000. I'm gonna buy this spear for her. Well, I shouldn't actually buy a spear. Because I don't ever use his weapons. I just use his flash and stuff. They're in every clock. What's in every clock? I don't know what you're. Shurikens? Yeah, I'm not gonna spear. There's no point. He uses items. Yeah. She'd rather play Shaq Fu instead of speaking of Yuffie. How do you feel about playing, uh, you know? Oh, they're in every clock. Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. This is a clock, sir. There's no elixir. I don't know if Shaq Fu's the worst game ever made. <laughs> Mystery veil. Only the women can wear it. <laughs> I want a power sash. <laughs> Please stream it. I'll I'll keep it. Oh my god. Oh no. Did I save before I came into town? <laughs> I think I need to restart. Hold please. 
<laughs> I don't need 11. I don't need 11 power sessions. <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> hey, pal. Get your Chip buns, buns out, out of my, out of my eyes. eyes. Thank you, Jeff. For the resub. That's two months, my dude. What a good friend. I think I have a sneaking suspicion that you just wanted to listen to Filbert again. Wait, first timer as in this game? Yeah. Oh, it's uh, I bought a used run, and when I saw that someone, I, the person had three save files, and that one was the furthest along, so I kept it just in case I got stuck and wanted to just like see the ending or anything like that. You wanted the badge and to help a friend. Aw, perfect. <laughs> yeah, the app is weird. It's the app is very weird. Oh yeah, we didn't get anything from here. All right, let's buy 11 of these again. Okay, where's those? The mystery veil. We wanted two of those. We wanted... I guess I'll just get two of these, because I'm sure Shadow will ditch us again shortly. Gaia gear. Should I buy four of these? Oh, I can't decide. I'm so trained by Minecraft to not want gold. <laughs> Gold bad. Let's equip some stuff first and then we'll compare. <laughs> Maybe Shadow won't this time? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, we'll buy him a Gaia gear. I mean, worst case scenario. Oh, actually, I should have just bought Gaia gears for everybody. I mean, I have a lot of money. I've been pretty stingy with my money. Why are you always just wearing this this bard's hat? That can't be the best armor for him, right? Headband. Why doesn't he wear the headband? Oh, because different stats. It doesn't show you what it's lowering. It only shows you what it's increasing. Or did Optimum just suck? <laughs> should I have him on that? Should I have him on this? I don't know what to believe now. Oh, it does show you what it's lowering. I just didn't read. <laughs> Don't ever use optimum, just use manual. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna put this headband on him. We'll see how it goes. Alright. Yeah, it's weird to have the optimum setting because it's like it kinda depends on what you want, and I think it just goes for like the highest defense point, it looks like. Alright. I'm gonna need Actually, I'll just buy a few more of these. There's a- oh, it's on the wall. Sometimes it prioritizes weird stuff. Yeah, that's what it seems like. It seems like, yeah, it just it has weird priorities so far. Listen, I have to tell you. Nah, never mind. Cool, thanks. Thanks, old lady. Espers? What in blazes are they? If they're animals, talk to the old guy that lives on the edge of town. For some reason, the innkeeper doesn't like strangers. Why does he run an inn? <laughs> Where his job is literally to talk to strangers. Ha! No admittance. Alright. How come everybody sets little kids to watch their homes in this universe? You're strangers. No. I wish I could just illegally stay at his bed. I mean, it's nice to, uh, for, um, for Optimum, like, 
you can use it to throw on a bunch of stuff and then just kind of fine tune it from there instead of having to manually do everything. What kind of relics you get? Dragon's boots. Oh, dra dragoon boots. Changes fight into jump. Wait, so other people can do what Gao does? Ooh, I'm not gonna do that because I love Gao, but... Surely there must be some hint on how to get into this old guy's house. What? Did I just accidentally stumble on something? What was that? Fire! Fire! Oh, this kid is using fire. He's trying to light the fire a forest on fire? <laughs> yeah! Oh no! Yeah, that's right, little punk. I'll get back to you after I'm done exploring town. What you want with me? An elderly gentleman, pure of heart and learned in the ways of monsters. Star- oh, I can't read. Strago! I was not Stargo. Strago! <laughs> Espers. Espers, hmm. Not really familiar with that world. word. But you've heard it before? Nope. Uh -uh. Can't say I have. Honestly, can't say I have. That's odd. <laughs> you were trying to light forests on fire stacks? That's terrible. Grandpa! It's me, your granddaughter. Hey, hey! What in blazes? What are you doing? Oh my god, are we getting two characters at once? Yeah, you guys are kind of saying the same thing, but just in different ways. In her picture, she captures everything. Forests, water, light, the very essence of life. Oh, does she take the pictures that are in that house in the other town? Where there's like the picture of the octopus? Not forest, just the woods. I wasn't trying to light a forest on fire, just the woods. <laughs> Realm. There are so many characters in this game. Grandpa, where are these people? Friends? Can they use magic too? Yeah! Hush! What a cute doggy! Get away, he bites. Not Realm, he doesn't. He's gonna lick Realm's face. Nah, I don't name anybody out of the norm, Boat Knight. I like the... I like the by-the-book names. Go to your room. I will not. What a fussy old man. Please, leave us. Well, alright. You know what, Rudd? You know who I think we probably would agree on? On disliking? I'm gonna roll the dice here. Hopefully you agree, but I do not like I Ayako from Final Fantasy IX. I think she's the worst. Oh boy. Seems like your dog. I don't name my Pokemon, no. But I, I'd leave him, leave him the normal name. What a sweet puppy. This is terrible. Sorry. No problem. The dog usually doesn't like people, though. Yeah, Final Fantasy IX. <laughs> you're, wi you're wild, Rudd. You gotta settle down, man. <laughs> Please excuse her. She's just young. Hmm. You have no problem with any Final Fantasy IX character. You hate Yuffie, but you like Aiko? We got a fist fight, my. We got a fist fight, my friend. <laughs> Please excuse her. She's just young. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is just a backwater village. We can tell you nothing about your espers. This guy's hiding something. I see. There's something wrong here. Let's have a look around. Yeah, we also saw that little kid using fire. Thanks for your time. Sorry, I couldn't have been more helpful. Interceptor. Come. Oh, the dog's name is Interceptor. I forgot.
Yeah, Aiko is actually, a, she is a good healer. Oh, all right. Give me back my dog, dog thief. All right, we gotta bust these people. Mama, it hurts. Oh, all right. Cure. Busted. <laughs> I love that lock just waved. <laughs> yeah, friendly disagreements are a part of life, though, about night. Friendly disagreements. Mama, please use cure on me. <laughs> Alright, yeah, it is passable because she's a child. I would ask you about Quinna, or however you pronounce it, Kinna, Quinna, but I like that character, so... <laughs> I'm running too fast, I can't get past. Oh, that's the end. Oh, yeah. We did talk to him. <laughs> I don't think Final Fantasy IX is a bad game. I, it's not my favorite Final Fantasy for sure. Um, I like it better than... Uh, I like it better than 8. My problem with 9 now is that it's a little slow to play. <laughs> run, cry, cry, scream, run, cry, and don't listen. That sounds like a little kid. Welcome, welcome. Magic. What is this magic? Why is everybody here telling lies? This town's worse than Zozo. That's exactly right, you read. Yeah, it's not as good as everyone else. Like, it really surprises me when Final Fantasy IX is people's favorites. I don't I definitely don't think it would ever be near my, the top of my list, but I get it. Um, I thought they I mean, I imagine Kate Sith in a remake will just look like high definition Kate Sith. I like Kate Sith. Have you met Little Realm? She loves to paint pictures. I wonder if she'd do my portrait. We have met her. You think we can convince this... Convince Realm to do this kid's portrait? And then we can get him out of the way? Can we sleep here? Nope. Mm, I thought that was a door. It's not a door. Where did Realm go? Oh, she's right there. Interceptor, please come back and play. She is just a little kid. Oh god, I didn't mean to keep talking to you. What a beautiful day. Hmm. I guess let's go talk to the innkeeper again now that we've done something else. One GP per night. Why not relax for a spell? Okay, that's a big difference. I love that Interceptor goes to lay next to Shadow in the bed. That's so cute. It's so cute and precious. Ah! <laughs> is that Bannon? Oh no, it's Strago. This is awful. Realm, she's... Realm's in danger? Yes. She was at a neighbor's house when a fire broke out. I won't be able to stand it if something happens to her. Please, won't you help? I wonder who started the fire. Shadow! Little kid started the fire. He was cast in fire and he caused a fire. Little kid started a fire. Yeah, he almost killed Rome and she almost died. Interceptor, where are you? Yeah, I love the animations in this. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, this is a big fire. Alright, good night, Rudd. Thanks for hanging out again. Have a good one. Where's the fire? It's probably gotta be at this place, right? Yeah. Realm's inside the house. House is bound. Realm. Oh, maybe Interceptor will save her. What are you doing? Flames be gone. 
Why did he come wake us up before doing that? Why would he do that? <laughs> Magic is forbidden. Magic? I don't care. Realm's inside. Flames be gone. Mayor. All right. You really have no choice. Stand back. Oh, look at this teamwork. Look at that person who was late. That person was late to the notice. <laughs> Flames be gone. Thou, thou, thou. <laughs> No. It's no use. The fire's too strong. I think that's because they keep so many fire rods in here. I'm going in. Oh no. Wait, I'm going too. Count me in. You better stay out here, Gramps. Fool, I may be old, but I'm not powerless. Quickly! Oh my god. This animation. Try to avoid the flames. Easier said than done. Hurry, we have to find Realm. Let's go. Let's give uh, Strago a relic. Oh, he's so old. Look at him. Um. There has to be something that boosts his magic, right? Adventure attack. Raises magic power. More powerful paired. Do we have two pairs of earrings? We do. He's probably already super strong. We'll double it up. Oh! That guy ran right into the flames. Oh, look at him! I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to attack them. I hate bombs. If there's one... I mean, I guess here they're called... They're not called bombs. But if there's one enemy I hate in all of Final Fantasy more than anything... It's bombs. Or aqua rake. I might hate them more than, uh, like, Maloboros. Hot damn. Would you look at that? Yeah, the UI is pretty similar, Dodger. Not very different. It's just that a lot of things are named differently, is all. Uh, here. We're gonna have lock on cure duty. We'll let the big guns do the magic. The little cat guys? Oh, are you talking about tonberries? Tonberries don't really look like cats. Also, hi, Tweak. We have a very hot mess. We have a fire. We have a fire and a small child stuck inside a building that is on fire. Yeah, Toddberry. Toddberries. There's this tunnel in Final Fantasy XV. Like a... God damn it. Uh, a tunnel on the road. And it's just full of... It's full of terrifying Toddberries. It's awful. I don't think they show up if you drive. I think they only show up if you... If you're running through the tunnel. Yeah, man, it's so scary. <laughs> the most deadpan Esper is Tonberry. Toneberry. Toneberry. Oh wait, what am I doing? <laughs> no, no, no. You heal. I was wondering how uh, Terra would have so much MP left. That's why I wasn't reading the rest of the menu. Past one flame <laughs> out of all the others. 
Ooh, no, don't use fire. Oh, man. I should just be using Water Rake exclusively. What a great attack. I mean, I, it's probably stronger against these guys than under normal circumstances. But I'm loving it. Aqua Rake. Aqua Rake sounds like some sort of weird, like, household tool that you could pay for on Woot. I bought a used Aqua Rake for 40% off. It was refurbished. Got it on Woot.com. Oh no, which door? Oh, not that door. Not that door. I was gonna say, I thought I had something on to avoid pincher attacks, but it's on Shadow, who has decided that he would much rather sleep right now, so. It's funny, because, um, I know he left now, but it's funny because Rudd was talking about how he does not like Riku, but he loves Locke. And those two, they, I feel like they have so much in character, or in common. Like, they're both thieves. They both uh, make nice little backup mages if you set them up right. Oh. oh, okay. I should not have continued to try to go in there. I thought it was one of those things where it was like, okay, you cleared this enemy, now you can go in there. Not that, it's not that. Riku or Yuffie? Uh, I said Riku, but actually Yuffie too. Um, funny enough, he also did not like Yuffie. <laughs> him and I were discussing how he did. Him and I have completely opposite uh, taste in characters when it comes to Final Fantasy. Because I love both of those characters. Also, Riku with 2K is not to be confused with Riku from, with 1K from Kingdom Hearts. This seems like a good place to farm uh, gold. Hmm, that seems like the right way, so what's over here? Oh. Cause Strago. Strago? Hasta luego? He has like infinite. Infinite. Oh no, he doesn't. He, this costs MP. Never mind. I'm dumb. <laughs> Honestly, she only steals her materia, your materia, to try and uh, impress her father. She's pressured. She's trying to save her town. She's trying to save Wutai. She didn't mean to be bad. She's just drawn that way. Oh, fire rod. They did say they keep plenty of fire rods in here. Whoops. Not bolt. Not bolt, too. <laughs> yeah, she's a regular. She's a regular Jessica Rabbit. Another lord is this guy now. Let's look at his skills real quick, because I want to see what these other lords are. I'm not going to use them right now, but... Lore, Aqua Rake, we know. HP lowering attack, revenge, and stone. Oh! Damages and metals an enemy. We know what that is from Gao, who uses it constantly. <laughs> Seems the ice rod would have come in handy before the fire broke out. This seems ominous. Is this the source of our blaze? <laughs> oh no! It's a World Industries skateboard! Oh, I guess when it's bigger though, it doesn't really look like that. Flame meter. Does Jim tell us in advance when we watch a commentary? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes we know what we're watching and sometimes we don't. Sometimes I- sometimes you- you get into the studio and you're- you're greeted by, uh, big money rustlers. You, 
You can use rods that are equipped like magic to use free magic. Oh, okay. I mean, I have a, a bunch of uh, these tincture, tinctures. Tincture. I'm scared to cast regen because I feel like every time I cast regen, I immediately die. And then I have wasted the regen. Is this a black hole? I mean, it kind of does look like a black hole. <laughs> Jesus. Oh! Oof. You need, you need one of these now, my friend. I almost just healed in a bunch. Came dangerously close to pressing that second A. This thing has a lot of HP. I guess it has to because it knows that you're coming in with like loaded up with attacks that are it's weak to. Safe, what does that do? Oh, did he cast something on Lock? It looked like Lock was going slow, maybe. We did it! We did it! Start the fire! Alright. Realm's probably just in here taking a pretty picture of the fire, I feel like. <laughs> Realm, where are you? Oh, Interceptor saving her. Realm! Wah, too late! Is she a disaster girl? Oh no. Here comes Shadow to save the day, right? Right? Oh no. He'll do anything to save Interceptor. Yep, here he comes. Attaboy. Oh, look at him go. Shadow's so cool. He's gonna carry every single person out of here on his backs. He has many backs. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I'll use a smoke bomb. Are you okay? Yes, thanks, Grandpa. Save your thanks for these people. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, smoke bomb in a fire is it does seem very counterintuitive. I guess our town's little secret is out now. Can everyone here use magic? What's going on? This is the village of the mage warriors. Um, I don't think smoke bombs typically do let you teleport, Pear Bear, but that's a mystery that we don't know the answer to. In this game, in a f uh, burning down building, they definitely do let you <laughs> teleport. Long ago, humans used magicite to gain magical powers. They came to be known as the Mage Warriors. That's true. I guess ninjas are constantly throwing smoke bombs and disappearing. Uh, we all have egg on our faces. But I thought they perished centuries ago. After the war with the Magi, the Espers fled to their oh, new yeah, world yeah. behind the sealed gate. <laughs> Every time I hear that sound, it makes me laugh. Thank you for the follow, Vandlar. Howdy, howdy, howdy. After the war, after the war with the Magi, the Espers fled to their new world behind the sealed gate. They wished to live peacefully without fear of being used by humans. They left us here to fend for ourselves. But we were despised by normal people. Everyone felt we had begun that war. They sent people to hunt us down, like animals. They weren't even any trials. Even then, the only difference was that you could use magic? 
<laughs> Magicite probably does taste uh, better than Vegemite. I feel like everything tastes better than Vegemite, even though I've never tried it. Even though the only difference was that you could use magic? I think I already read that. <laughs> A few mage warriors escaped and found their way here. They were our, they were our ancestors. Our powers have weakened over time, but some of it remains. Look, if you're up to it, we could use your help. So, you're after the espers, eh? Tell them your secret, Terra. Well, I owe you for helping saving... I owe you for saving... Okay, I can't read. Well, I owe you for saving Realm. I'll help you find your espers. Me too. I don't think so. What a funny daddy. Dude, one time... Okay, I want to tell you this. Uh, we're going to take a quick sidebar. That one time I was at a concert, and I was there by myself, so I was to, uh, the people around me, we were all talking, and I forget what it, what context it was, but the girl, this one girl said something, and like everybody was really being really cool, and then I was like, oh yeah, I don't really do that, I'm a real fuddy-duddy, and she was like, uh, fuddy-duddy? What the hell is a fuddy-duddy? Nobody says fuddy-duddy, and like would not drop it, and like even her boyfriend that she was with was kind of like, all right. Uh, she was pretty. She was pretty drunk, but I was like, "Funny Daddy is not that uncommon of a word." And now, Final Fantasy VI is here to avenge me. I'm gonna find that girl from Jimmy Eat World concert. I'm gonna send her a clip of Final Fantasy VI saying "Funny Daddy." Okay. Anyway, back to the story. But where do we start looking? Hmm. If they're here, they must be hiding in the mountains to the west. The trick to Vegemite is to only use a little bit. Has a strong flavor, but it's not bad. I feel like the trick to Vegemite is to never try it because you're a picky eater and you're scared. That's my strategy. <laughs> Why there? Those mountains have powerful magic properties. They say the espers were created there. Maybe they're drawn to that place? I think it's worth a look. Alright, we are on the road. Bye, Realm. What a funny daddy. Hell yeah. Wait, you're- they acted like you were weird for saying retrospect? Yeah, and I agree, the girl was a funny daddy. She was the funny daddy. Retrospect is a very normal word. Alright, don't misunderstand me. I just wanted my dog back. I mean, I believe him. Going somewhere? I'll search for the espers in my own way. <laughs> I love that Realm loves the dog so much. Interceptor, come! Oh, Interceptor. Oh. That actually makes me sad. Interceptor loves Realm. He wants to stay with her. Alright, Shadow left us. What did he say to you, Realm? I want to see what, what Realm and Interceptor talked about. Oh, nope. Nothing new. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Alright, so we gotta go to these mountains next. But, we're coming up, uh, coming up near the, uh, three hour mark here. So, we're gonna, we're gonna rest here for now. That's gonna be it for tonight. We made really good progress, I feel like. We did a lot of stuff. Uh, we discovered a whole town full of secret magic people. So, uh, thank you guys for hanging out. I appreciate it. Uh, it was really cool. Thanks again to Tazzle for the raid. And all the new follows, all the subs, all that jazz. Let's find someone to raid. Who should we raid? Who should we raid now? Do -do 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 -do. Um, let's see. There's another streamer that I follow named Harvey McCloud. It looks like she's playing Final Fantasy V. You guys want to watch some Final Fantasy V? I think we do, right? So, anyway, by the way, in case you're new here, um, my schedule is on Saturday I'm going to be playing Final Fantasy XV uh, as a replay, and then on Tuesday I'll be back to Final Fantasy VI. So if you want to uh, catch any more Final Fantasy VI from a first-timer's perspective, uh, catch me on Tuesday. 
Uh, that's when we'll be starting back up with that. So Tuesdays and Thursdays, Final Fantasy six days. Saturday, Final Fantasy fifteen days. Wednesday is a uh, kind of whatever day. So, so yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll raid Harvey here. Everybody be nice and enjoy your time there. I've never played Final Fantasy V, so I don't have to worry about spoilers. So yeah, we'll, we'll hit her with the raid. And I will catch you guys on Saturday. Thank you guys again.